John here from Coding Goblin. Today we're gonna to look at installing Tailwind CSS in WordPress. Really easy to do. I've got a blank WordPress website, the most basic theme ever. Let's just get into it. Go to Tailwind Docs, go onto the installation page. We're just gonna run this command here in the root of our theme. Let that do its thing. That's all done. Now run the next command. That's created our tailwind.config.js file. So if we come down to this section, we can see it says, add the path to all of your template files. So we're not just gonna copy that, we're gonna add our own here. So this is gonna be paths to any files in our theme that are gonna have Tailwind classes in. So we do a dot that will start in the current directory forward slash, and then we can just do an asterisk dot PHP. And then we can say comma, we can do the same thing, but this time we do two asterisks forward slash one asterisk dot PHP. Now what this is saying, this will look in any folders within this directory and then the files in those folders. So that should do us for now. Considering we only have one file, we didn't actually need that. But if you're gonna have folders, which you almost certainly will, that's why you're doing that. Save that. Now we need to create an input.css file and we're gonna copy this and paste it into the new file. So come to our theme, we're gonna create new folder, source, and in that folder, we're gonna make a new file, input.css, and then we're gonna paste that in. Save that. And now we're just gonna run this command here. So copy that, paste that into the root of our theme again, run it, and that's gonna generate our output CSS. So the actual CSS that we're gonna load on our page. So that's great. Now, if we come to our functions.php, and we just need to NQ this output.css file. We're gonna say add action WP NQ scripts, that's the hook. And then we're just gonna write the name of a function which we're about to make in a second. So we're just gonna say NQ underscore tailwind. And then we come up here and we say function NQ Tailwind WP NQ style and then we give it a handle so we're just going to call it Tailwind CSS dash CSS you can call that anything you want and then we're just going to put the path to where that file is so we're going to say get template directory underscore URI and that file, as you can see here, is this output.css. So we're gonna say forward slash src forward slash output.css. So we save that. And now if you go to any file in your theme and add a Tailwind class, so we're gonna say class equals bg red 500. Save that. Go to our homepage, refresh it and we'll see it's working. And if we come down to the network tab down here, we'll see our output.css loaded there. 